Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will be sharing top 5 screen recording applications for you which are completely free. So if you want to record your screen whether it's for gaming or for YouTube tutorials, you can use one of these softwares easily and have a high quality output. All these softwares are user friendly so there's no learning curve to it. To make this list, I took three things into consideration. First, the output should be in high quality. Second, there should be no limit to record. And third, which is most important, there should be no watermark. The list is in a sequence from basic to advanced applications. So if you're someone who is looking for pro screen recorders, you can directly skip to the last two applications. All the timestamps will be in the description. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. My first suggestion is a Windows pre-installed app called Windows Game Bar. This app is very basic, but it does the work really well. It's a gaming recorder built into Windows 10 and Windows 11, but it is useful for any kind of screen recording and not just games. There are two ways to open this application. Either you can press Windows key and type game bar and press enter, or you can use the shortcut key, which is Windows plus G. Once you open it, you will see these two boxes, capture and audio. If you can't see these two boxes, you can simply click on these icons to access it. In Capture, you get all the controls to start the recording, mute the recording, pause the recording, and capture just a screenshot. And in Audio, you can choose what inputs do you want while recording this video. Let's say you don't want system sounds, you can just click on mute. And if you want any voiceovers for this, for example, I'm recording my voiceover on this. You can even tweak the sound levels of these. To start the recording, you have to simply hit this record button. For example, let's say I want to make a video on notions, how to track your books. So let's press Windows plus G. Let's click on record button. And the recording is started. So you can scroll. Let's see different view. And you can see on the right hand side that the video recording is on and this bar won't be seen in your screen recording. To stop the recording, you simply have to hit the stop button, press Windows G again and click on show all captures. Here you will find all your recordings saved. You can simply hit on the file button to go to the location where the files are saved. The only limitation of this app is that you can't record desktop or file explorer. For example, if I've opened this file explorer and let's hit Windows plus G, you can see this button is not active now. And if you try to click on this, you get this pop up that gaming features aren't available for Windows desktop and X file explorer. You can only use it to record applications, but it's free and pre-installed with your Windows system and does the basic work. So if you want a very simple recording tool, this is it. The next app is Flashback Express. Even this app has a simple interface. You can choose the area of recording. There are three options here, full screen, a particular region, or a specific window. You can choose the audio options, microphone or PC sound, and you can even tweak the levels of audio for individual settings. You can also enable the webcam if you want to record yourself simultaneously. Setting tab have lot of customization too. Like in video settings, you can choose the frame rates, the quality of the video. In sounds, you have different options of stereo also and sample rate. If you click on desktop, you get these three options which are really helpful. Set a plain desktop wallpaper, hide icons or hide taskbar. So to start the recording, you simply have to click on the record button. So I have two monitors, so here I have option to choose any one of them or even both of them. So let's click record. Again, let's try to grab some clip from Notion application. Let's go to Lifebook, Intellectual Life, scroll. To stop the recording, you have to right click here, either choose stop from here or open main window and press stop. This pop-up will appear to save or to play the video. Let's hit save. Let's choose the location videos and let's hit save. And done. 
you can see your video recorded here. The only drawback that I found in this application is that the interface is a bit laggy. The videos are smooth, but the interface is a bit laggy. Number three best screen recording application in my list is ePowerSoft, which is an online based screen recorder. You will have to access it through this URL or you can simply Google search ePowerSoft. Just to mention, I've provided all the links in the description for you guys. So to start the recording, you simply have to click start recording here and this menu bar will pop up. Here also you can select if you want to record your full screen or a specific region. If you click on the specific region tab, you will have to draw a rectangle or a square or any specific dimension you want to start recording. Additionally, you can also click on the drop down arrow to select predefined dimensions, let's say 1850 by 480. In the system and mic menu, you can choose the different sound inputs and next to that, there is toggle to turn on your webcam. On the extreme right, you get this tab where you can access settings where there are more features like you can select mouse customizations, animate mouse button, animate mouse click, show mouse hotspot, you can even select color for that. Once you hit the record button, it starts recording. where you get these tools to annotate, where you can draw a line, an arrow, to direct the viewers to a specific things. Once you are done, you can simply click on the stop button and here you will see your recording and you can save by clicking over here. The next recorder is ShareX, which is also a feature filled free screen recording software. So this is how the interface looks like. And if you click on the capture with basic options, you also get so many different options. Like you can directly make a GIF out of your recording. You can capture text, scrolling capture. And yet this software is completely free. So let's open notion again and let's try to record the screen to record. You simply have to click on screen recording. Here you will find this plus icon where you can select specific window or so let's select notion and it directly starts the recording. You can minimize this and to stop the recording, you simply have to hit stop. You will get this toggle where you can click and check your recording. Looks great, right? And then a final recorder, which is my favorite, and I've used this recorder to make this video itself is OBS screen recorder. It's an open source software where you can even live stream from the software. The interface will look a bit complex at first, but trust me, it is very simple to use. So to give you a quick overview on the left, you have scenes tab where you can create different scenes with customized settings so you don't have to tweak settings every time you are making a new video. Let's make one scene for Notion. Let's type it Notion. Okay. Let's give it a source. I want to capture just Notion window. So window capture. Notion tutorials. Okay. Let's select uh, Notion and hit OK. And then you can simply hit the record button on the right hand side to start recording. To view all the recordings, you have to click on files, show recordings, and you will get all the recordings here. And the best thing about OBS is that it has a lot of features and you can have full control over your recordings that also for free. If you go to settings, you will see dozens of options to customize your recordings as per your need, whether it's in audio settings where you have to tweak sample rate, stereo sound, or whether it's in video where you want to select different frame rates or different resolution. So for the best audio and video quality, this is the software you can use without any confusion. If you are looking for best pro recording software, this should be your choice.
I hope this video helped you to find a screen recorder for your needs. And please hit that like and subscribe button if you are on your way to download one of these applications. If you have any more suggestions to add on this list, please share them in the comment section below. I see you all in the next video. Until then, take care, keep exploring, keep expressing.